What's up, guys? Back in the studio today to go over something new for you. We constantly get questions all the time on if my servo is going to brown out my system. Can my stock ESC handle this servo? Can my this handle this? Some of them, the stock ESCs can't. So we normally recommend direct power. But there's people out there that are scared of direct power. They don't understand how it works. They're going to forget to unplug it. It's for their child's rig. It's a new person to the hobby's rig. Or like us, it's a loner rig. So this is one of our loaner base camps that we have at the shop. So if you come to the shop, you don't have a rig, but you want to crawl, you can run this beautiful base camp right here. So in this base camp, as you can see, we have the stock motor, stock ESC, stock receiver, stock servo, stock everything. So we want to upgrade this with our RAW 500 Black Edition. And what you're going to realize is from this stock internal BEC in your ESC, you're only getting about five volts put out to power this servo. If you know any better, you know the servo runs great on 8.4 volts. So normally to get this done, you have to upgrade your motor in ESC. So you're looking at a $200 upgrade. Or you'd have to buy a BEC and go ahead and solder that to the battery connector, remove the power wire from your ESC to your receiver. Otherwise, you'll blow your receiver up. And that's a lot of costly upgrades, and it's a ton of time. You have to know how to solder. Not the easiest thing in the world to do. You have to have a soldering iron. You got to buy a nice one because the cheap ones suck. You ever soldered anything before? You know that. And you have to be able to know the programming to get all of that in. And then you have to go into that BEC to adjust the voltage to meet your servo needs. It's a ton of work to do and it's a ton of hassle. And it's not really what the normal guy in the hobby is looking to do. So we decided to come out with the all new, brand new Reefs BEC Easy BEC. So what this is, is a battery eliminating circuit. So instead of pulling the power from your ESC to power your servo, you're gonna power it off of this tiny, awesome device right here, guys. Like, I mean, it's, it's microscopic. It is perfect size for it. Also, there's no soldering needed. This is called an easy BEC because it's easy. It's plug and play. Hook this up to your servo, plug this into your receiver where your servo goes, plug this into our XT60 battery connector, boom, you're done. It's in there, it's easy, it's plug and play. It's literally a three minute upgrade and you have full 8.4 volts to this servo. You don't need to program it, you don't need to adjust anything. You literally plug in three connections, put it in your rig somewhere, boom, it's there, you're ready to go. So I'm gonna go through that upgrade right now. Obviously I gotta install the servo in there, it's gonna take a little longer than it would for you guys to do it, but let me get after it and we'll get this thing installed in the next five minutes. All right, I got my tools. You should only need a 155 and a 2.0 hex driver. I have our speed bits and our speed bit tool. All of these tools are from MIP. If you're not running MIP tools, get with it. They're the greatest tools ever made. Let's hit it right now. Okay, so we got the servo back in, not even working on the BEC yet. That's the most difficult part of this upgrade, especially with the base camp. You gotta trim a little piece of the mount on the side, and you're gonna want a long neck horn. But one of the most crucial parts when installing a new servo is our servo is gonna have way more throw angle than the stock one. So if you can look, this is binding. So if you have a digital remote, you can adjust it from side to side. If you don't, all you have is normally steering rate or it'll say dual rate. 
So what we're gonna do is just dial that back just a touch until we no longer have hop. See how it's still hopping? Go back a little bit more. Man, this is gonna make us go back a lot. See, it's lots better right there. See, nice, smooth. You just don't wanna extend the servo beyond its reach. And this truck, the servo can go well beyond what these um, universal joints are allowed. If you're doing it in your personal truck and you want to go to the point where it's hopping a little bit, like you'll see here, you get a little bit of bind and you're gonna get a little bit of CV hop as they're just at full lock. I don't mind that. I keep doing that in my truck because I want most performance. But since this is a rental, we're gonna get back to the point where it's not really doing it. See if we can go just up a scope. That's pretty good right there. So we have steering, but obviously not full speed because we're not getting full speed out of the system. So I'm going to unplug this here. And then we're going to go through our BEC install right now. And I'll show you how easy it is. All right, let's get this BEC installed. I grabbed one of our, these are the dullest scissors I've ever seen in the history of scissors. <laughs> so I grabbed one of our dual JST XT60 battery connectors. Nice part about this is we're only gonna use one, so if you wanted to run lights in a rig, you could run those as well. So we're gonna plug this in here, and then we're gonna take apart our easy BEC right here, and I'm gonna show you literally how simple this is to install. So you're gonna disconnect your servo, black to black, gray to gray, plugs in, boom. This gray wire is gonna go in for the signal for the steering. So on this one, goes in just like so. And now we get to decide where to put this little clever thing. I think I'm gonna put it right here on top of the heat sink because this truck isn't gonna get too hot. You could do it there. We could also put it on top of the battery cover. I never run these receiver boxes. Like I just don't care about them. But since it's a loaner, we're gonna leave it here. We could mount it here we could put it back here in the battery tray it kind of stretches that wire a little bit but we could come like that you guys can't see that we could come like that it's so small i can't even see it with my hand there we could put it here i was thinking about putting it here maybe i'll put it here just for ease of use yeah i'll double side sticky tape it here but literally that's on batteries on we're going to power on the truck and then power on the bec and you can leave this plugged in 24 7 red to red and now look look how much quicker it is like the thing is lightning fast and it that part of the install i mean i wish it gave me a record okay a minute and a half so a minute and a half for the actual bec install that's all it took one minute and 30 seconds to install the bec that's connecting the servo that's plugging it in that's hooking it up everything's done in 99 percent of trucks like this is already ready to go and you're you're getting full power now to the servo, 8.4 volts in this awesome tiny footprint, gonna sit in your back of your battery tray. You could put it, I mean, you could put it here. If you love your box, you could put it on top of the box like this. Like you could literally do anything you want with it. I'm gonna put it here just for ease of use. I'm gonna get a couple of zip ties, zip tie it all together. Like these battery wires are all so long anyways, but that's an install. Like that's literally all it took. I mean, all of the other stuff we did in this video was just hooking up the servo, which didn't take that long, but the time lapse was of the servo. Like that's not anything at all. The easy BEC set to 8.4 volts though, took me a minute and a half to install. I think I'm just gonna shoot another video, just a minute and a half, hey, here's the new product, put it in, done, 33 minute video, we're in and out. The best part about this is, like I've said before, I'm gonna go over the features, it is completely plug and play. I didn't, I mean, nothing soldered, there's no new connectors. All of the factory stuff is reused. I didn't, I didn't do anything realistically. Like that's how easy this is. I can't stress to you enough. I retained all of the factory stuff here because it is a lone rig. I didn't use our servo washers like I normally do. Stainless steel K and K hardware. I put a long neck servo horn, which is on the website. It will be linked in the product description below, along with the fully programmable black raw 500. It mounts up to the truck. We set endpoints like the truck, the truck runs. It could go anywhere. It's ready to go. And guys, like, I mean, once again, the servo speed you're getting without having to upgrade your motor and ESC for 200 bucks, without having to buy a soldering iron, 
without having to learn how to solder. Like there's literally nothing to do here. It's it's plug and play. I mean, I can't stress that enough. I'm blown away with how easy this is. It's literally just gonna sit back here. I'm gonna grab a couple of zip ties, zip tie this down like this. This is our XT60 dual JST battery connector. You can power it however you want. That is the easiest way to do it though. And there's a million of these connectors on eBay. If you don't run an XT60, which I think you should, because they're the easiest, say you run the Traxxas one, there's a Traxxas with the JST. You just want a female JST off it. There's um, a Deans with the JST. There's everything out there that you could possibly want for battery connectors. They're all available on eBay. They're all available on Amazon. Um, I'll link in the product description below, like as many as I can find on Amazon. Like I'll just do that for everybody who's clicking on it. Obviously, I'll have ours linked below. The XC60 is a great solution for this. But then you just unplug your battery here, and like now it's off. No power, nothing on it. You don't have to worry about it like you used to. Everything's done. Like this all just stays in the truck like this. Everything's ready to go. Next time you want to go crawling, you just take your battery, plug it back in. You see it, the lights on, boom. We're back to full power from our RAW 500. Hey, I just, I can't stress it enough. And the cool part about ours is you have a second one. So let's say you got a MyTrick RC light kit and you want to run lights running straight off 3S, boom. Previous connector here, um, it's, it's good to go. Everything is so simple, I cannot stress it enough. I'm gonna go in and tidy up this god awful receiver box, put that back together. But other than that, it is ready. Brand new from Reefs RC, easy BEC, available today. Make sure you pick one up. If you have any questions about install, will it work in this truck, will it work in that truck? Any questions, make sure to make comments down below. Um, we've recently opened up channel membership on this channel, so if you wanna support the channel more, go ahead and from your computer, there's a link in the description. You can become a channel member today. We have bronze, silver, and gold. All the fun stuff happens at silver and gold. Gold is the best level. We offer uh, discounts on product at the gold level. You get 10% off. You also get early access to all of our product. And I just took it out of the studio for another video, but we just released the brand new Teal Raw 500 for gold members only. So once you've been a gold member for two months, you send us an email to sales at reefsrc.com. We will send you over an invoice and you get one of 100 servos in Teal that's only available if you're a gold member. It is probably one of the most exclusive servos we have around. Here's a list of all of our members. We truly appreciate everybody's support. We love this hobby. We can only do what we do because of the support you guys provide us. Thank you very much. I'll catch you on the next one.